Hey, this is Rob Coleus here from the Maui News offices, and I'm here this week with a special report on the Maui News sports report. Uh, really the end of an era coming upon us as uh, graduation nears on campus at Seabury Hall in Olinda uh, very soon. Uh, really the end of an era as coach Andrew Berger and quarterback Jackson Stinger will move on from the Spartans football team, the eight-man champions three years in a row. The first three MIL eight-man championships have gone to Seabury behind the guidance of Coach Berger and uh, the leadership on the field of Jackson Stinger. Jackson Stinger tells us this week in an interview right here that he has chosen the University of San Diego, uh, where he will be a preferred invited walk-on. He's on the developmental team there, and he'll be kind of reuniting with his brother, uh, Jarrett Stinger, a former MIL standout in baseball, uh, who recently graduated or will graduate very soon from Point Loma Nazarene. And Coach Berger and his young family, his wife Heidi, and their very young son will be moving basically home to Minnesota. And here's what he had to say about that. Gosh, Coach Berger, just tell me uh, Jackson Stinger decides to walk on to uh, the University of San Diego and NCAA Division II school. How, how do you think that fit will go for him? Um, well, I had a conversation with him this morning, and he loved it. Yeah. Uh, it was exactly um, – where he wanted to go, uh, that's where he's going to be happy. Um, an outstanding program, great kid. Um, he's going to have an opportunity to work with their strength and conditioning coach here right. in the fall, right? And then uh, he'll get an opportunity uh, next year to uh, get on that team and compete for a spot. And uh, that's exactly what he—that's exactly what he needs. I was just going to say he can really uh, uh, develop with a college weight program yes. can he no question yes. no question yeah he's the the athletic ability there is, is i mean he's the fastest guy on the field and yeah he's just a level above everyone else here and uh he just needs to get in that weight room and uh um, yeah, just work he'll be just fine and for you personally i know uh, you're wrapping things up here at seabury hall to move back home closer to family uh just tell me about that just and and how tough a decision that was for you um that's an it's bittersweet um to leave uh, a great community great group of kids um it's definitely bittersweet uh but uh, we're excited to be home closer to family um be with our nephew you know our nephews and grandparents are around uh we've been we've been thinking about moving back for a couple of years and couple years now and uh it's just the the kids in the community just keep bitching on me to stick around but it's time and uh we're talking about minnesota correct we're talking about minnesota right on coach we're gonna miss you thanks for all your time you leave here undefeated an unbelievable record here at seabury hall thanks so much for your time today appreciate it thanks action stinger uh uh, a long time coming, but a decision made on, on your football future, your, your college future, uh, University of San Diego. Just tell me, how did, how did that come about? Um, I, it came about after I got back from Lewis and Clark. Uh, I think it was over spring break. Uh, I don't know. I just thought that USC fit me the best out of all my decisions. Um, I love the weather, climate, the school itself. And, yeah. Uh, my brother's in the area, so uh, I'll have him as by my side. So. And I know your brother, uh, you, is your brother done with college? Did, did he, he will graduate in, in two weeks. Oh, cool. And uh, uh, him being around, uh, that that had to just help a, a ton. It's been yeah. a while since you've been, you know, in the same area as him, at least non-summertime, yeah. right? Yeah, four years. So. And uh, what, what, uh, what kind of opportunities are there with you know, your chance to maybe work on in, in the weight room and, and just the college atmosphere. How much potential do you believe is there kind of untapped so far for you? Um, well, I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, having coaches specifically for weight training and all that uh, would be a lot more helpful. Um, and then my... I was texting my brother the other day. He was like, yeah, we'll, we'll go lift after school and right. all that. So um, him 
also pushing me to be my number one fan. So, um, how cool is it to come to this decision and have it done, have it made? Uh, it, it's. I'm glad. I'm, I'm stoked. Uh, yeah. A lot of pressure was released once I signed that. So, I'm happy. Now, is it an invited walk-on? Is that uh, yes. kind of what they said? It's. Uh, I made the de uh, developmental team. Okay. So I'm uh, actually for a wide receiver, not okay. for a quarterback. Um, and it's like it's like red shirting where I I have my classes. I get situated into the school and then I try out in spring. Okay. Um, Almost like a gray shirt, but not yeah. quite a gray shirt. Gray shirt you would delay enrollment, right? Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. Okay. So very cool. Got that going on. Right on, Jax. And uh, wide receiver. <laughs> Excited about I'm, that? I'm happy about that too. Anything I can score touchdowns with. <laughs> right on. Very cool.